Keys, you're on the air. Hello. Hello? Is this on mail? Oh, my. I finally got through. You cannot hold back the righteous might of the new revelation, not after what you perpetrated, you filthy beast. How dare you rebuke the word of the Lord? How dare you glorify a rebel and the devil the way you did? Short. You will never get beyond the stage. <laughs> it's time to fire the ovens for the queens and the queers and the reds and the Jews. All of them have to go. Oh, man. Now, wait a minute. You want to repeat that one? I said it's time to fire the ovens. Ovens. The queens and the coons and the reds and the satanists and the Jews and all those who want to bring America down. And it's and you you, you claim to be a godly person and you're ready to burn up uh, uh, homosexuals. You're ready to burn people of different skin colors. You're ready to burn, burn people of different religions. To clean the face of America. To burn with righteous fire this land. There's nothing righteous about what you just said. You know what you are? You're nothing but a lousy little bigot hiding behind God uh, as, 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 as some sort of... Uh, My word in edgewise. All right. You let, let me hear what you can do uh, edgewise. Well, first of all, I just want to say this whole thing about pet foods. And so what? I mean, it's just meat. And if you're going to throw it in there and just stew it, they're just dumb animals anyway. And, they, and especially those evil, filthy cats, they would be cannibalizing humans if they could get their tiger paws on us. If you ever see what happens in the wild, especially with that berserker tiger that killed that trainer in front of all those people. You know, that they're filthy, vicious, devil animals, and you, you, they're perfect for you and your show, but as far as I'm concerned, they, they could melt them all down, and I don't really care. And Did you say evil, filthy cats? That's true. That's true. That's the most disgusting thing I've heard from you yet. I mean, this really tops it all. Well, I'll tell you what they're doing. I'll what? tell you what they're doing. What? The same pornographers that are creating that Star Trek are doing this as special Pornographers? Thing. This is... This is pornographers did not Trek? create Star Trek. Why would... Star Trek is show? one of my favorite it's a, programs. It's a very pornographic... It's pornographic. Star it's, Trek? It's, it's, yes. Star Trek is an icon of American science fiction. It is... It's part of the media pornography that is assaulting our nation. Star Trek is just among... It, it's, it's terrible. If you've ever seen that show... With that, with that 69 or whatever they have around. I have around. seen That's every biggest. single episode of Star Trek. The yeah, original you, you Star would. Trek with Captain you Kirk. You're, you're in league with the you, media pornographer. You don't love Captain Kirk and Spock. Captain Kirk? If you happen to know, Captain Kirk was... Who was he played by? A Canadian. So, a Canadian. So? Ben Shatner is a Canadian so, operative. So, uh, operative? That's correct. Operative? He's one of the Canadian subversives. William Shatner is a spy for Canada? Canadians are in control of the media in this country. Oh, my God. I let people yes, say whatever whatever they want to say on my program, and that includes, heaven help us, even you. Listen, I have a right to say what I'm saying. The people who, the parade of moronic, imbecilic people on your program every night is pathetic. Is it? And you're, and you're back to Bigfoot already the other night. Please, Mr. Bell. Well, what's your take on Bigfoot, J.C., since we've got you here? If there is a Bigfoot, yeah. it's of the devil. Of the devil. It's, that's right. How do you they, know that? How do you know that Bigfoot is not a caring, loving, intelligent, thinking, isolated beastie? Oh, and isn't that always the words they use to describe the poor Satan cast down so unfairly? Poor well, Jay -Z, then, then why do we hear stories of Bigfoot families together loving each other, caring for each other, and caring for their yeah, young? Have you ever does heard that, does, of the does, Adams family? Does that, they were a family of Satan <laughs> worshippers, too. The Adams family. <laughs> and they seem to get along pretty well. <laughs> Just a little misunderstood. I, 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 a human I, I, sacrifice I, here and there. Yeah, that's it. I can't do it. Uh, the Adams family stopped me. And I smoked a marijuana cigarette. Oh, my. And had my first... Menage a trois, whatever that is. Oh, J.C., you probably don't even know what that While is. While being a biker babe was fun and Blade was a sex machine, I decided there's more to life than the need for speed and multiple organisms. I've settled down now with Bub, a long-haul trucker. We live on the road and listen to Coast to Coast every night. I plan to spend most of the rest of my life with him, and we even adopted two homeless kittens and named them Art and George. I still love Jesus, and I know he loves me, even though I've been bad and it feels so good. I'm not going to bear you. Finally, we will have a rumble. You want to debate me, son of Satan? Bring it on, 
because I've got the power from the Lord. I'm stepping all over you. People are going to be able to recognize Oscar when they see you going in the street because you're going to have your my boot print in your behind, you no good sweet yeah. bitten demonizer. What you got to say to that? Why don't you look in the mirror, JC? You're going to see snakes coming out of your eyes very shortly. I'm a real queer, yeah. I'm a yes, queer. I can tell that. I can tell that. You. I didn't even have to say it. Yeah, I'm a queer, yeah. I, yeah, right. So, so why, don't you, why don't you act like a gentleman and grow up a little bit and, you know. And Who are you to tell me what to do? Listen, you, you no good, no good pervert. You, you San Francisco. Why don't you just go back to your, your bathhouses and, 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 and your, your little opium dens out there where all you sickos smoke medical pot and get together for, for hedonistic or as an evil. I have three PhDs and a member of the Council for Relations. Your book smarts don't mean nothing to me, Mr. PhD. I, I'm, a, I'm a philosopher. Your and I have brains a, aren't going to mean a darn thing. I have a thing. background in psychology. I like, I like judgment upon you, you for your... Wait a minute, wait a minute. One at a time here. J.C., give the guy a chance. I like to psychoanalyze you, J.C. I like to psychoanalyze you. I'm doing research You're now. a psycho. Pardon me? Well, go ahead. What you... All right. Now, J.C., has it occurred to you that you call everybody a psycho? You call everybody evil. And yes, now, I not, do. It, 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 now, yes, but there's, <laughs> there's a little pathology here, buddy. Uh, if everybody's evil, that might mean, I mean, you should consider that you're the different one, J.C. No. No, I'm the only one walking the righteous path. It's, it's terrible to be in such, so it's like being locked in a, in a, in a world gone mad with crazy sinners everywhere who are worshiping Satan. Talk about it. And JC, while we're on the subject, you know, what in the world is wrong with sex? I'll tell you what's wrong with it. Tell me. It is corrupt and dirty and vile. Is it? That's correct. Um, my mama told me it was beautiful. Beautiful. There's nothing beautiful about it. There's nothing beautiful about a man and a no. woman doing the natural thing, J.C.? It's unnatural. Unnatural. Unless, unless you are in the specific act of creating children, new souls, the sexual act is a perversion of frenzy. Unbelievable. Uh, you mean to say the normal act, uh, even if not in the, in the in the process of creation between man and woman, is a bad thing? Horrible. Horrible? And, and the people who do it are going to burn? That's correct. If you're not doing it with the specific intent to honor God's uh, decree to be fruitful and multiply. Spitting on the Wh fine police officer trying to protect America. Wait a minute. Is this the pit of sewage guy? Excuse me? Is this the pit of sewage guy? Yes, this is J.C. Wester the third, bringing the was... light and the love of the Lord and telling you all you're going to the boiling pits of sewage for sinning. And I've got a question for you. And it's what at what temperature, sir, do degenerate authors burn in hell? Oh, I'd say probably about uh, I don't know what, what what's the temperature of hell, Abel? Do we know? I don't. I don't it's know. I'd have to look it up. First of all, it's a satanic influence, and and I'm telling you right now, the Book of the Dead's real name, Notorum Demento, they didn't even give you the real name, Necronomicon Ex Mortis, and it's D wait, wait, Doctor Doctor Demento? It, it, no, Notorum, Notorum Demento. It's a it, there's two is names to it, or Necronomicon Ex Mortis, the Book of the Dead. Now listen, Ian, son, no, wait, I know is that, you're trying. I know no you're relation, trying of the Lord. No, no relation to Dr. Demento, then? No, Dr. Demento is a devil, and I want, I'm here to deliver... Dr. Demento is the devil? Bell. He, wait, wait, Dr. Demento is the devil. Did I hear no, you just he say... he is not the devil. He is a devil. Dr. Demento is a devil. He is a demon, a devil. Yeah. All right. I need to speak with JT. Yep. Go ahead. All right, are you listening, JT? You know what this is? This well, with is my insane. disinterest... And I have a word for you. What? Okay? Son, come home. You are embarrassing me. Do you understand? What? You are the poorest excuse of a demon that I've ever put on God's good earth. Come home. What now? What are you talking about? What, what is this? Get up there and come home. Come home. What are you talking embarrassing about? Me. Okay? I am losing more followers as you speak. Do you understand that? What? Okay? You're not making any... Oh, I understand. Or the walk. I'm not spouting off. I'm insulted. You would say that. How dare you? Well, JC, it's the first time you hung up on me. Last time, <laughs> hung up on you.